Most of you can be a lot leaner without experiencing any side effects to your gains or long-term health. See, I understand the logic of not being shredded year-round as a real natural. You'll likely be less full, perform worse, and not feel the greatest energy-wise and even on a hormonal scale. Those who tend to be 6 to 8% body fat year-round without any difficulty are typically enhanced, and that makes perfect sense. But when we then take that viewpoint to the extreme, by saying, I can't be lean year round, that is a huge excuse. Because even when we look at the studies of those who've dieted down that hard, when they gain 2% body fat additional from their competition, they feel fine all of a sudden. Which means what? If you're 10% body fat, you're probably not gonna have any problems. Might not be 100% ideal for the bench press, and some little exercises here and there, but we can make the argument for calisthenics and gymnastics. It's even better, different topic though. But 10% is doable, as is 12 if you really want to go a little bit higher. But oftentimes, I'll see men who are in the 13 to 17% range, who look amazing, by the way, because they have this large amount of muscle mass, and the definition is still somewhat there. Bicep vein, some separation in the delts, lean face, visible abs, maybe the obliques and lower section not being that exposed. We'll see that and all is well. There's no body dysmorphia. I applaud this. It's actually what I promote. But then they'll lie and say that they can't get lower than this or that they're good enough at this stage. Truth is, most people in that status can probably drop at a bare minimum five to 10 pounds of pure body fat. So if you're 180 pounds and decently lean, guess what? You look even better at 170. Don't think your FFMI is that f***ing high, bro. It isn't. I used to think the same thing. Oh, look how high my FFMI is. I'm like 182. That's what I was saying at the time, or 186. But there was all kinds of body fat. The moment you drop it down, you realize that you're in a reasonable range because it was never really muscle. And that's me being very nice. I would say, straight up, we keep it real over here. Even if you're decently lean right now, you can probably lose 10 to 20. Yeah, 20 pounds and look better from an aesthetics standpoint. Now, if you don't want to do that, like I said, it's not necessary for health or gains. You do you. But don't say it can't be done or that it's unsustainable. Because another thing we know is that it doesn't matter what your starting point is when you decide to bulk. I learned about this, I think, a year and a half ago from Jeff Nippard. As long as you're in the calorie surplus, you are good. That means if you shred down to 10% body fat and give yourself a range that you will not exceed body weight wise, let's say 5, 10 pounds maximum, which is what I recommend, you will slowly gain the weight, still retain most of your definition, and not compromise strength gains or hypertrophy for that matter. So really, the main reason why guys don't stay lean year round is because they don't have the discipline. They overeat in terms of the calorie surplus and they generally feel better in a fluffier state because them getting to that fluffier state included a surplus. But we're confusing the end result with the process. It's not you being 20% body fat that's making you a beast. It's that you went from being decently lean too fluffier. And for those who say, I was never lean, just cut down from being obese to a lower body weight, you had those extra reserves. So it's not exactly the same thing. And even if you did get down to a certain body fat, you're probably not the same right now. So if you cut to 180, then bulk to 190, you still perform the bulk. So it doesn't matter the starting point. Now, since we're on the topic of numbers, let me give you some realistic expectations. Let's share what most of you will probably go through as an advanced or even elite lifter. I'm talking about getting to competitive status here because some of you weigh more than that right now and your numbers aren't what they should be. Body wise, mass and performance. Your height in centimeters is typically going to be an excellent lean weight in the 10 to 15% range, but likely below that. I would say 10 to 13 being more realistic. So when we look at the average height of men, which I believe is 5'9 or 5'9 and a half, do the math. This implies, I don't give a f 
who I offend. You're probably too fluffy if your average height and you're weighing above 200 pounds. Unless you're bear mode and that's a different topic. Not trying to steer you away from that. But if you want to have maximum aesthetics, the vast majority of you, especially if you're not at the highest level of fitness, are going to be under 200 pounds. I'm just telling how it is. Look at people who compete in natural bodybuilding. Most of them aren't that heavy. Sorry, guys. You're not on fucking steroids. It is what it is. The shorter people, when you get down to shredded status, you might actually weigh in the 140s, low 150s. If you're a bit taller, you'll be in the 160s, 170s. That's what to expect. And then the 180s is like really solid. But again, as I pointed out earlier, you can probably drop another 5, 10 pounds below that. So it's not about me trying to get you to the leanest status. It's about acknowledging that it could be done and it is, in fact, sustainable if you want to go down that path. So all I'm saying is stop making excuses for yourself and lying to the masses or even worse, lying to yourself. So only the taller guys should be chiseled above 200 pounds. But even then, a lot of them will end up in the 190s, just saying. And if we talk about strength sports, the average best weight class for most naturals is going to be 181 pounds. Again, telling you what you need to hear. And that's all there is to it. You're probably not going to be the heaviest guy while being in a super lean state. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. If you look good, you look good. And as I point out earlier, this is great for those who care about relative strength or body weight training in general. So how about we explore other aspects of fitness instead of trying to be the most big and shredded guy at the same time, because really that's what drugs are going to do for you. And most of you will not be going down that path. Makes sense. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Just provide the information. If you want to get leaner, you go for it. If not, you like having a little bit of extra fluff, more power to you. I got no problems with what you decide to do with your body because ultimately it's your happiness that matters and you should not be lifting for anyone else's validation or approval. So rock whatever you want and I'm done talking.